So I had to think a lot about this project because uh, I didn't want it to be just, I used a standard case for this project. I wanted something unique, something very custom. So when I talked to AMD about this project, or they got they got a hold of me, and we're, we're kind of bouncing around different ideas, and we came up with, what if we use AMD's logo, which is the arrow? I thought about that to see if I can actually make that work. Originally designed, I wanted where it's the arrow, but it's the whole chassis and the arrow and then have all the components right in the center of the opening, but that wasn't working out too well because if I do that, the case itself will be much larger than what it is. So we also played around with different ideas on what if we include a distribution plate. Uh, that's one thing that uh, AMD loves to showcase they love to work with people who create distribution blocks. But even the, the design of the distribution plate, how an, I looked at the car, the car's very matte black, very sleek looking. I wanted to still keep the same aesthetic to the actual GPU. So I decided to do the distribution plate, but then cover it with smoke acrylic to give it more of the muted dark tone to the actual plate. It was pretty challenging to design it this way because on the logo itself, they're not, it's not connected, so there's spacing. So I had to mount one of the part of the arrow and the other side of the arrow, mount it where it connects so it had some stability. But then I wanted to water cool this machine, so I want to keep the GPU air cooled, so because it's for the new Radeon 7900 XTX GPU, so I wanted to showcase that air cooler. Once I have everything cut and made, I didn't realize how far is it from point A to point B. So when I was designing these two brands. I realized that it's, it's much too long. Like, so I created and mounted a panel, which is three slots that holds three slots for pass-throughs to break up the runs to make it shorter here and also a little bit shorter on this side. Because sometimes it's, it's, it's almost like when you, I design this stuff, I like it when it, it looks good composition-wise. It, it always tends to go in that direction. You don't want to design something and this looks strange. Uh, composition is very important when it comes to designing these two brands. I'm not gonna lie, it, it was challenging. <laughs> it is challenging to do this stuff here. Because uh, at the same time, it's it's not a template. When I actually build these machines, I always forget on the process of 
fit in the system, I always make it too complicated to fill. Uh, so there's this section here, opening here, which the fill port's down here. So which means I had to get this, this into this fill port. I gotta make it work. Everything turned out pretty well. I love how everything turns out. Very sleek, modern looking chassis. Actually, just, I love how the arrow, you can see the logo and also how it's open right in the middle so you can actually see through the actual panel. So you can see some of the distribution plate. You can see some of the power supply. You can see some of the reservoir because of the opening of the logo and gives you the option to do that. I, I think it came out pretty stunning. It was pretty challenging, but I got it to work and I, I'm pretty excited on how everything turned out.